did you see a neurologist? To find out if I'm crazy? Mm-hmm. And they wanted to medicate me every day. You realize, like, they could have just switched to medication and I wouldn't be here. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams. And uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. This industry is a monster. At a time like this, if I was on medication right now, then one pill could have been swapped out and it would be Michael Jackson and Prince all over again. They're trying to kill me. The whole time, they're trying to convince me I'm insane. They were trying to get me to take psychotic medication. Yeah, like I'm sitting around, you know, I was stressed out, but the people that were telling me I was insane, I believe that they knew what was going on. Anybody could look at her and tell this is not just alcohol. There's something more going on. Wendy Williams is in trouble, and if she doesn't get the necessary help now, the elites will definitely succeed in getting rid of her. Hollywood is a place where fame and fortune often go hand in hand, but it's also a place where bizarre illnesses strike some of the most well-known personalities. The weird part is that most of the victims are some of the strongest beings you will ever come across on the face of Earth. If that's the case, then why do they suddenly get sick with illnesses that no one seems to know about? The answer is known only to the elites, who seem to be in control of who lives and who dies. Wendy Williams is one of the most fearless TV presenters who tackled some difficult issues. She didn't care who she was facing. When it came to doing her job, no one stood in between. I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you. Mm -hmm. But this is a full circle moment, yes, everybody. Yes. Get into adult yeah. conversation. Yeah, this yeah. Is full circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just like the elites tried to silence Dave Chappelle, Kanye West, and many others, this seems to be what is happening to the iconic TV presenter. I mean, how can someone change from this to this in a blink of an eye? What's really happening to Wendy Williams? Right about now, she's complaining about a lot of things. People have stolen all her money. She's bankrupt. And now people are calling her crazy. But this isn't a new situation in Hollywood. Kanye West explained this very well when it happened to him. Listen to this. What I'm saying is, look, they tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me. And they, 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 when I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount right and i refused to take this right you understand that if i had taken the medication i would not be here and it would have been oh, woe is he was deeply troubled we miss him we love his music though well they would have britney spears too i mean look at they, they would have michael jackson or, or worse fortunately kanye west outsmarted them but i know their plan was to continue putting him on the wrong medication then drain him financially so that he couldn't afford proper medication and eventually die. When this plan failed, they labeled him crazy so that people should stop paying attention to him. I ain't never been back to the hospital since 2015, but every time they say I'm crazy, it's just when I'm saying the truth. So what's the crazy part, really? The same thing happened to the great Dave Chappelle, and Cat Williams talked about it. Dave Chappelle was decapitated in front of us. They called him Pilot Boy because he had 19 pilots in Hollywood and everybody passed on him and said his show what do you think of then when he Robert? made 500 million dollars they said even though his contract said he should get half of it they said he made too much for the contract to be valid so we'll offer you 10 percent of what you made you mean he made 500 million and they offered him 50 yes and he said what do you think my fans are gonna say when they find out you offered me 10% of what I made you and they said your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. And my nigga got on a flight in LA and by the time he got to Ohio, it was wow. so. One thing that y'all need to understand is that people who poison or kill us are not people from a distance, but people we break bread with and call family. People that we think are safe to be around with. If you watch the Dave Chappelle and Oprah Winfrey interview, you will understand what I am talking about. The interview gave me a different feeling about her. She sounded like she was pushing a different narrative. Just listen to her. It was completely outside of my frame of reference. I've been in show business since I was 14. And uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happens. And I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Okay. When, I saw when you say you heard the stories, what do you mean? What stories? I mean, you see it before, look, Mariah Carey made a $100 million deal 
and three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or, or Martin Lawrence punches through and he's waving a gun on the street screaming, they're trying to kill me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we hear those stories. And it always happens around the time of their career where it seems as though they're crossing over the next plateau. Yeah, yeah. Would you say you lost your mind, sort of? No. No. Not exactly. Okay. Uh, I wasn't crazy, but it, it's incredibly stressful. Yeah. And uh, I felt like in a, in a lot of instances, I was deliberately being put through stress. What about Jamie Foxx? who mysteriously got sick, and until now no one knows what the problem was. His former doctor told us there was more to it, he even dared him to speak out. Unfortunately, Jamie Foxx is too scared of the elites, he only gave us tiny details of what happened to him, but you can see through his eyes that the experience was devastating for him. Wendy Williams is going through a situation that we have witnessed many go through, and I love that we have some people who are not scared to talk about it. Let's listen to Kanye West expose what happened to Michael Jackson, Prince, Bruce Lee, and Brandon Lee. So, Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee were both murdered. Michael Jackson not waking up one day. Prince not waking up one day. Bruce and Brandon Lee, Bob Marley. All of these things are have crossed my mind. Bruce Lee died at the age of 32 under mysterious circumstances. Brandon Lee died from a wound caused by a firearm malfunction. Bob Marley died from a melanoma. Prince died of an accidental fentanyl overdose. Michael Jackson died of cardiac arrest, which was caused by a lethal combination of sedatives and propofol, an anesthetic. Kanye West says all these people were assassinated by the elites because of their positive influence on the world. Kanye West has numerously exposed the elites for tearing down everyone who doesn't fit their narrative, which many people have agreed to because they have seen that happen to so many different people. Once the elites fail to control or kill you, they will find a means of getting rid of you. Either by turning the world against you like they did with Tupac or by labeling you crazy so that people shouldn't pay attention to what you say, the perfect example is Kanye West himself. It is believed the Chinese government was behind both Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee's deaths. While both Prince and Michael Jackson were killed because the elites couldn't control them, the elites were afraid of the power these two possessed, that's why they decided to get rid of them. At the time of their deaths, both Prince and Michael Jackson owned their masters. Michael Jackson owned half of ATV, the publishing company that owns Beatles Publishing, and Sony owned the other half. Unfortunately, after his death, the estate sold Michael's half to Sony, giving Sony 100% ownership of ATV. We all know what really happened to him and who got rid of him. Bob Marley is another genius and influential figure that the elites killed. Many fans believe he was assassinated, which somehow makes a lot of sense because of the following. There was an assassination attempt in his home in 1976, where his wife Rita was shot in the head and Bob Marley suffered a gunshot wound to the chest and arm. A year later, he was diagnosed with acral lentiginous melanoma. Was that a coincidence? I strongly doubt. Kanye West was equally subjected to the same evilness. Fortunately enough, he survived. When they failed to kill him, they labeled him crazy so that people should discredit everything he says, which didn't work either. The last option was to get all his money in the hope of silencing him. But that didn't work either. Kanye West believes the elites are there to get everyone who is not moving with them in the same direction that's why they tried to kill him. Drove me to a point of exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed of having a disorder that would have had me on medication right now. At a time like this, if I was on medication right now, then one pill could have been swapped out and it would be Michael Jackson and Prince all over again. But because I didn't take the misdiagnosis and I didn't take the, the uh, medication, I'm able to speak to you guys clear of thought and transparently. You know, as I'm going and saying, I need to innovate what these contracts are, not just for me, but for all artists. It's not about me getting my masters back. It's about... It's about uh, freedom. And I, I say on a new song, I say, if I would put myself in harm's way to get my masters, they would put themselves in harm's way to stay the master. And that's, there's a complete parallel to the way the music industry works and the way the world currently works and the influence that America has on other countries and the way governments work. Uh, the influence and the way government and the way
people in power and control deal with, you know, disaster relief, deal, deal with Haiti, 